introduce myself. I am Sophia, a seamstress here in this little village. I make clothes and costumes. The clothes I make for the villagers, the costumes I sew for the puppet maker Geppetto's wooden family. Why does he regard his puppets as family, you may ask? Well, that is what I'm here to tell you. The story of a puppet who became a real boy. Oh, <laughs> 
this fine today? My work is well. I've been waiting for months. They are right over here, and I've just finished them this morning, senor. And to find a puppet, which I have never made. Queen Philomena. <laughs> and King Luciano. This is your best work. What's in your body? Did you notice the detail of the eyes and the exquisite features? This is my best work. Well, then your best isn't good enough. What is this? Oh, nothing. It's just a boy I've been working on. In his three days, the best puppet show I've ever staged. Well, then. I am aware of that, senor. And you promised me perfection. I'm sorry, senor. Ah, oh, I see what you're doing. You're a shrewd sure businessman. What? You know I get these puppets, so I enforce the puppets. Oh, no, no, senor. Uh, not, not at all. For the little plan of it, I have no choice. I will buy it. Thank you, senor. For half the price we agreed upon. Uh, half, but... Senor Puppy, I would fly and live for two months on these puppets. The price will scarcely pay for their costumes. Ha! That is my white wall. Take it or leave it. I'll take it, sir. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. Senor Brina? Ah, oh, Sophia. Uh, what just happened here? <laughs> Nothing, my dear. Nothing at all. Uh, here you are, Sophia. The anatomy agreed upon for your fine costumes. Is this the entire amount he gave you? That tyrant! Why do you keep on making puppets for someone who cheats you? I love my work. These little wooden figures are just puppets to me. They have my family. I hate to part with them, and we all must make a living. No. Here, Geppetto, I want you to have this. No, Sophia. You earned it. As did you, and I will not see you starve. Oh. Oh, okay. Thank you, Sophia. This is the best birthday present I've ever received. Birthday present? Is today your birthday? Happy birthday, my dear friend. Thank you, Sophia. Sophia, you've always been very kind to me. I just want to let you know how much that means to me. I like you, Geppetto. I like everything about you. Don't you know that by now? Well, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Petta. Good morning, Sophia. If you both excuse me, I really must be going. Oh, and happy birthday, Geppetto. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. Why did you tell me one? Oh, I'm a too old for birthdays. No one's ever too old for birthdays. But this we have a child and all adults one day a year. Speaking of children, how is that wonderful daughter of yours, Tadassa? Oh, not so good. She's been having a lot of trouble in the new school. She can't seem to concentrate on her studies. Of course, she can make a friend. In the military, she left all of them behind. I think she misses them. Well, then you must bring her by the shop, and I'll introduce you to some of my family members. Oh, I think she'd really enjoy that. Thank you, Geppetto. Was there something else that I could do for you today? Oh, yes. I was on my way to the marketplace, and I was wondering if there was anything I could get for you. Yeah! Oh, you would, would you, Giuseppe? I beg your pardon? Giuseppe said he would like a fish. Would anyone else like anything? Who are you speaking with now? My puppets, of course. Oh, uh, of course. Why? This puppet is magnificent and so large. What is his name? I call him Pinocchio. Why Pinocchio? Well, I I made him for fine. Uh, wonderful. I want to that be all? Better make that too. Giuseppe doesn't like me the Oh, no, Geppetto. This is my present to you. Oh, thank you. You are very kind. I shall return in an hour. Well, Pinocchio, it's your father's birthday. And it's also your birthday. Maybe we can celebrate together, no? Look at this, dear sir. The finest pastry I could afford, and there'll be plenty for all of us. Do we have one cake? Of course you do. Now, Pinocchio, since it's your first birthday, I will let you blow out the candle. Make a wish. 
wish first. Who did you wish? <laughs> Good boy. Now it is my turn. I wish. I wish that I had my very own little boy to share my life with. A boy very much like you, Pinocchio. Now I will blow the candle. I should go lie down for a while. Yeah. You can't get away. You'll watch things while I'm napping, won't you, Gia Yeah. Hello, Pinocchio. I'm the fairy. I understand that you're a very special puppet. I heard you rich, and a very noble one it was. You want to, you want to become a real boy, so you keep your pedal company in old age. We're thoughtful who you are. I will grant you wish, but you must heed my warning. Everyone has lessons to learn in their lives, even puppets. You'll be challenged with choices of good and evil. Trust your conscience. You will always lead you down the right path. If you succeed in your quest, you will be rewarded. You will remain a real boy forever. But if you fail, you will return to the hollow and say you are now. This evening, when the clock strikes twelve, your wish will be granted. Remember, little one, trust your conscience. It will never lead you astray.
Hey, you want a balloon? Uh, I don't have any money. Me either. Who needs money?
Pinocchio, you are a special puppet. You don't need strings to make you move. Thank you. 
before I tell you, I would have never believed in myself if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Pinocchio! Pinocchio? Pinocchio, where are you? Hello. Do you know how to have you to this morning exactly all the way over here to look for some coffee puppies? You don't believe me! We do believe you, but there's nothing you can do about it right now. Wait until morning and we'll help you find him. No, I must find him! Pinocchio! Pinocchio! <laughs>
going to do that. I don't know. Exactly. I'm going to show you the correct path. And right now, you are nowhere near the highway. To be a real boy, you must be brave, unselfish, and one day you might achieve it.
the Charles Fair by Sunday on the skirts of town. And today, we will begin to have free tickets of drill night passes into the park for every child in this great little village. Yay! Yeah! Did you hear that? Are you on that path? I don't know. Mom and Dad told me to stay with the town. Is that you? Yes, it's me. Let me see. 
children go? I'll take care of them. No, I don't want any violence. I'll take care of it. Children, we have a star. <coughs> May I present the puppet boy, Pinocchio? Thank you. 
Who's there? Who's there, I say? Pinocchio? Is it really you? How did you get in here? A big fish ate me. Me too. I've been in this fish for oh, nearly two weeks now. I've been eating fish that this whale be thought before. I'm sick of fish. I never want to see another fish again as long as I live. Exactly. Huh? 